Hello darlings, in this video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to give you a message to help you crush it in life. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings, I would like for you to participate in a brief meditation by taking in a deep breath to the count of nine, holding it to the count of nine, and releasing it to the count of nine. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Your thoughts create your reality so please keep this in mind when selecting a Jungle Beauty Goddess message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the Jungle Beauty Goddess choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The time stamp for each goddess is located in the description box below. Hello darling, if you selected Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, this reading is for you on how you're going to crush it in life darling. Let's see what message she has for you. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty God Goddess Afar represents our third eye. And her message to you is, ah, bring your dreams to life. So in order for you to crush it, what you're going to have to do is start where you are with what you have and take like let's say what i'm just going to use a quick example let's just say you want to make a video i don't care how horrible it is you need to do it if you just do a voiceover if you just put some pictures together if you want to make a doll just like bring your dreams to life in order for you to crush it it can no longer be a dream it has to be something in 3d form and what that means is if you want to go back to school it can't be you telling somebody, oh, I want to go back to school, you should have registered for the class. Does that make sense? If you want to write a book, your book should, every day, like every Saturday, maybe at 10 o'clock, you go to the library and you write from 10 to 2. You need to actually do something. It's no longer um, an, a plan that is on paper or a plan that you tell other people. There should be some actions that you have taken every day so that it's no longer a dream is brought into 3D reality where you are right now. The next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And her message to you is compassion and forgiveness are the cornerstones to true love. If you want to crush it in life, you cannot have any... I hate to say this, like if you're hanging out, if you're angry with an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, if you're angry with your parents, if you're angry with your old teachers, you're not going to make it. In order to crush it in life, you are going to have to forgive everything and everyone you know because this, re this frees up your heart space so that you are available to your dreams. Does that make sense? You can't, it's almost like if you're angry or if you have resentment or if you're not happy you're going to create a wall around your heart that is going to block you from not just feeling um, sadness but it's going to block you from feeling joy as well so in order for you to crush it in life you're going to have to forgive everything and everyone leave the past the next past. message i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess katara and jungle beauty goddess katara's message to you oh i love it your destiny is what you decide to do. So for you to crush it in life, Jungle Beauty Goddess Guitar is telling you, listen child, you it's not written in stone. You know how sometimes people think, well, 
I'm not destined to finish college because nobody in my family has finished college or um, I made you know 200 videos but I still can't seem to grow my channel look listen your destiny is what you decide to do it's not nobody can tell you what you can't be have or do in this lifetime it is the actions that you take on a daily basis which goes back to your first card which is um, what was it bring your dreams to life so there is no pre-written script saying that you have to work at the factory or work at Burger King unless that's what you really want to do you can do whatever you want to do does that make sense the next, the next card, card I, have, I have, have for you in order for you to crush it in life is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and her message to you is health is wealth so what this means is in order for you to crush it in life, you really have to take care of yourself. I mean, you, you can't conquer the world with, uh, you know, if you have a cold or if you're sick. I'm not going to say with a cold. A cold is not going to hold you up. But I think sometimes when we, you know, snack too much or not get enough sleep, don't eat a healthy diet. Like I realized from when I started doing readings, which is something I just started doing recently, hasn't... I realized I had to give up my wine. I loved wine, darling. Oh my God. Oh, that's a whole nother story. But I can't do readings and drink wine. So health is wealth. Not that it was, I didn't think it was bad for me, but they were just sacrifices. Like I need to, like on a day when I know that I'm going to do readings, I try to um, eat a lot of green vegetables. I try to eat light, eat soup, because my energy has to be clear for my dreams. When I'm writing, I have to take care of myself a certain way. I can't eat certain foods. I can't eat fast foods. For some reason, if I don't eat right, it's difficult for me to to make dolls, for me to write, for me to make videos. I really have to watch my diet in order for me to be available for the creative energy that God is trying to imbue in my being. I don't, does that make sense? So just remember, in order for you to crush it in life, health is wealth. You got to watch your food. I, the one thing that I could do more of is sleep, and I'm working on that. So yeah, I have one more card for you. And the message for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Far, who represents her third eye. Her message to you is, oh, I think I already said, bring your dreams to life. You have to forgive. And your destiny is what you decide so to darling, do. So darling, the big picture message for you is that no one can tell you what you can or cannot be. Your destiny is what you decide to do. There, There is no pre-written script. If you want to be a doctor, lawyer, whatever it is you want to be accomplished, you can do it, right? And then also, you need to forgive and let go of any resentment, any pain, because in order to be open to your dream, your heart has to be in alignment with the deepest desires of your heart you have to have access to that information anger resentment hurt these are walls around your heart that block you from knowing who you are and what it is you want to accomplish so make sure that you forgive everyone and everything in your life so that you can have access to your dream so you can crush it in life health is well take care of yourself you may not be able to you know eat the foods that you have always eaten or keep the schedule that you've kept before you got to have to take care of yourself in order to crush it and when you do these things as jungle beauty goddess of far has said to you darling you are going to be able to bring your dreams to life by taking action towards your dreams every day not just keeping a journal and writing down your goals not just telling your friends and family this is what I'm gonna do you need to do something every day that is tangible you should be able to look back in a week and say oh I actually enrolled in the class oh I actually bought the textbook oh if you want to write a book I've actually written my outline and I've started writing my chapters if you don't have proof of taking action physical action every day 
then you are not going to be able to crush it in life. But I know you can crush it in life because that's why you're watching this video. You're just looking for a little bit of inspiration. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib with her message on how you can crush it in life, this reading is for you, darling. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And her message to you is, the answer is in the questions. So if you're asking questions like, how can I crush it in life? She's saying, ask yourself questions like, what can I do today that would make my life different tomorrow? Right? So you can say, oh, okay. What if I started my book today? Even if I, I just write it on a piece of paper, a, a, a paper bag. What can I do today that would make my life different? If you just said ask that question and then every day you did something one little tiny thing if you wrote listen child if you wrote 10 words a day you'll be farther in a year than you are right now right so whatever it is you the answer is in the questions what can I do today what can I what can I change today what action can I take today whatever those answers are that is the information that you need in order to crush it and then listen that doesn't come from other people because somebody else may say but well, you need to go back to school and go to and be a nurse when you know you hate it no you need to ask yourself these questions and get really honest with yourself and get centered so you can figure out what it is you want to accomplish with your life the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess of fire who represents our third eye and her message to you is be crafty create the life you deserve now what this card means is you need to figure out like what's coming to me is that usually when this card pops up it means that you either have a work schedule you have friends or family but you have an environment that is not supportive to what it is you really want to accomplish in life so when you need to be crafty what that means is if you have to get up two hours early to make a video before you go to work that's what you need to do if you need to go in your car and make a video on your lunch break that's what you need to do if you live in, a, in an environment where people are telling you what you can't do you need to stop sharing your dreams with people and just one day just say hey you want to watch my video hey you want to read my book you know what I'm saying hey you want to hear my song that I wrote like you need to, being crafty means being quiet it means you have to go through the back door. That's my Harriet Tubman thing. Like Harriet Tubman did not walk out through the front door and say to the master, you know what, I'm really not into slavery, darling. I'm just thinking this is not the place for me. But no, she snuck off the plantation. Do you make sense what I'm saying? She took the back door and said, you know, I'm, I'm out of here. So whatever it is you want to do in life to crush it, you're going to have to take the back door. you got to stop telling everybody your dreams. you going to have to take... It's not going to be easy. Your job is not going to give you a week to go and enroll in your class. Nobody cares about your dream but you. So you're going to have to be crafty in how you think about going about creating a life that you deserve. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby's message to you is... Woo! Listen, you have the courage to stand up for yourself. So, in order for you to crush it in life, you're gonna listen. You're gonna have to tell people, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna babysit. I'm not taking an extra shift. I'm not doing this. And because I got things to do, but you don't have to tell them I have things to do. But you're not going to be able to crush it in life if you're not standing up for yourself. Because if people are saying, "Hey, can you do this? Can you do that?" and you're like, "Sure." How are you going to ever write your book? How are you ever going to make your video? How are you ever going to make your deepest and truest dreams come true when you're so busy trying to make everybody else happy? So you have to stand up for yourself. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Nami. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Nami's message to you is 
Ooh, are you listening to your soul or trying to please others? Bam. So in order for you to crush it in life, you really need to listen to yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? If you want to be a ballerina football player, child, you need to go and make that happen. Maybe you can make a video game, right? Maybe you can write a book about a girl who was a ballerina and a football player and how because she was able to be such a good ballerina, she was able to spin across the field. I don't know. I'm being silly right now. But what I'm trying to say to you, your cards are saying, are you listening to your soul trying to please others? You can't crush it in life when you listen to other people because the mission that the universe, that God, Spirit, gave to you that it was given to you it wasn't given to your mom it wasn't given to your teachers it wasn't given to your friends it was given to you and only you can accomplish that mission but first you have to acknowledge that you know um, this is your dream this is your journey everybody gets their own journey nobody gets to live two lives your mom and your your, your family or whatever your friends they chose their lives but what you do with your life, that's between you and your God. So you need to get honest with yourself and say, what is my earthly mission? Why did I pick this earth suit? Why did I pick this time period? Why did I pick these parents? What's, what, what did you love to do as a kid? You know, when you get in alignment with your soul's mission, your truth, your, your truth, you're going to be able to crush it in life. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, this message is for you, darling on what you need to do to crush it in life. Matter of fact, Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari is sitting right over here, darling. Do you see her? Yes, in the flesh. So, well, maybe, you know, her type of flesh. The next, the first card I have for you from Jungle Beauty, from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses on what you need to do to crush it in life. Your message comes in from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you is... Get her in focus here. Yeah, what is Jungle Beauty Goddess and Cyanide message to you? Mm -mm. If you are waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. Bam! I feel like, do, I, do we need to continue with this reading? Can I, I just want to say it one more time. If you are waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. In order for you to crush it in life, darling, you need to stop waiting to be happy. Like if you're waiting, listen, you don't need to wait to date somebody to go to a nice restaurant. Go out to eat to the finest restaurant all by yourself, darling, right? Order what you like, dress up, take a nice bubble bath. Go to the movies, enjoy your life, go to the museum, you know, have fun, do things that you enjoy. It's like that's the, for you to crush it in life. What I'm getting, it's not so much that you don't know what to do about school and work, but it's like your joy, your happiness. So I'm going to be the goddess, Sayana represents our second chakra which has to do with our ability to enjoy life, to feel like happy and giddy and like want to have fun, to live spontaneously, right? Like what are you waiting for? You think that it's just going to pop up? You think that after you finish school, then one day you're going to have fun? No, you work like a dog during the week. You do all your homework. You do whatever you need to do. And then you know what? You say on Saturday, I'm going to the concert because I want to go to the concert. I deserve to go to the concert, right? You need to incorporate more joy into your life. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is you can create whatever you want. So again, in order for you to crush it in life. Now, what I'm going to tell you about 
you can create whatever you want is that a lot of times people think they need oh if I only I had you know ten thousand dollars I could start a business you know what sometimes we have to start where we are with what we have so let's just say for example you just set up an Etsy shop and you start selling your paintings on Etsy wouldn't that be cute like now you have it you, you're making your paintings and you're selling them on Etsy and you should set a goal for yourself that you actually um, that you can actually create so let's just say I love to paint I love to paint I love to draw right and so you say okay I'm gonna give myself two months to discover my style because sometimes we don't really know you know how we want to go about things and you say okay so it's been two months I love painting flowers so in the next two months my goal is I want to have at least five pictures of paintings up for sale right on Etsy now what you the other thing you can do is go look at other paintings of flowers go look at the keywords that that person has used you need to actually come up with a simplistic plan sometimes when we think oh my god I want a doctor's degree well that's that can just weigh you down and depress you but what if you just say you know what I'm just gonna enroll go to see a counselor boom I, I can do that I'll do that next week I got an appointment on Tuesday I'm gonna see what classes I need and just take it class by class you know and once you start taking little small steps you will see your dreams come together in a really big way I have another card for you from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby and Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby's message to you is tap into your grit oh my god listen it's exactly what I'm telling you to do if you want to if you want to start a business tap into your grit means you are not making any more excuses you're going to sell those pictures you're going to make those dollars you're going to make those videos you're going to go back to school whatever is on your heart you're going to move to California and go take acting classes right take that dance class like this tap into your grit means you have you have a zero tolerance for excuses you have zero zero tolerance for another day of telling somebody oh you know I was gonna do this but I couldn't get the money up no whatever you have you know to upload a to sell something on Etsy it costs 20 cents you can maybe even make sculptures and sell them on eBay the point I'm making to you is that tapping into your grit is a zero tolerance for excuses and you're starting where you are I don't care if you in your one little bedroom right you could be in your bedroom with on your cell phone recording it doesn't matter when you look around you say I have one pencil you take that pencil and you you sell your first pencil drawing but you have zero tolerance for excuses you will start where you are with what you have I have one more card for you it is from jungle beauty goddess Kalahari and her message to you is do what you love and become who you are meant to be I've never in order for you to crush it in life do what you, you need to do what you love right now a lot of times people don't know what they love because they've spent their entire life trying to please other people when we are young people tell us ask us all the time what do you want to be I want to be a ballerina I want to be a singer I want to be a dancer I want to be a doctor and people go that's nice when you get older people start telling you you can't do that how are you gonna afford law school how are you gonna do this how are you gonna do that you too big you can you understand what I'm saying so in it says do what you love so what do you love to do darling what do you what do you love to do not your mom not your friends not society when you are quiet and, the, and you're sitting at that light ready for the light to change and there is no radio on and you're, you start to drift what is it what's laying on your heart that you're just procrastinating about okay your cars are telling you you need to tap into your grit which means that you, you gotta t find what you love first and I always tell people start with your childhood your childhood when you were really young when you whatever cartoons you like whatever songs you like whatever games you like whatever toys you like I really need you to go back to your childhood find that cereal find that candy find those things that you really loved when everything was pure and when people didn't judge you I want you to find those things and I want you to bring them into your environment and pretend that you're a child find what you love then I want you to within a month from this video 
within a month, I need you to have done something. Draw that picture, put it up for sale. Started, enrolled in that class. Wrote that song. I don't care. Take that acting class. But no more talk. Um, you can create the life you deserve. That's what this hand is saying. And it says if you... And the last card, which we went over at the beginning. If you are waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. Listen. Stop. Stop waiting. Turn this video off right now and get started on your dream. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara on what you need to do, darling, to crush it in life, this reading is for you. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara is right there behind me in the flesh. Yeah, maybe the fabric, whatever. Anyway, let's see what cards I have for you. The first card I have for you on what you need to do to crush it in life, darling. It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is love without expectations. <gasps> this card means listen. You make a video, nobody watch it. You you're doing it because you love it, but you can't your expectations you got to put them aside. You put you make something and people hate it. So when you love something, you it's you break a spiritual law when you feel like, well, I'm not gonna make any more pictures. I'm not gonna paint any more pictures because people don't like my pictures. I'm not gonna make any more videos because I don't have a million subscribers. I'm not gonna make any more dolls because people think my dolls are creepy and ugly. You know what I'm saying? No, you can't. You when you love, that love is supposed to come from a, a pure place. So in order for you to crush it in life, you're going to have to figure out what it is that you love to do. And you don't give a hoot if anybody likes it but you. As long as you love it. If you love it and your heart is pure, you will attract people to you who love you for who you are. You don't have to have this dynamic you know, personality. You're not a clown. You know, you got to be who you are. Does that make sense? So when we say love without expectations when Jungle Beauty God is Kahala Hari's message to you in order for you to crush it in life you do what you love but you can't expect anything from anybody but as long as your heart is pure you got to attract people to you who dig you for who you are the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message for you is use your intuition to acquire more information so basically in order for you to crush it in life I'm feeling that whatever it is you really want you probably need there's some you there's some additional information you need so that you you are able to take action so maybe you want to go to school to be a lawyer right but you're thinking okay I don't know if I'll be able to get into this particular law school. There is probably a law school that will accept you with your GPA or they'll, or it's more affordable. Maybe there are some grant funding that you need to look into, right? So when, whenever it says use your intuition to acquire more information, this just means there's a, some, there's, you need to just start the trail. Like what I have found is that when I need more information, I typically, um, I'll just start looking, you know, just say, for example, sometimes I'm looking like how to, um, you know, where, how to find keywords for a video. And I'll just start, you know, searching it, putting it in, typing in the search engine. And I may go through three or four videos before I find the one that really resonates with me. Does that make sense? So use your intuition. This, it just means that you may not get the answer right away but if you start the trail of just oh let me just look this one thing up 
it's going to lead you to the information that you really need so you can crush it in life. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and she says listen to your body. So in order for you to crush it in life, when you really need to, like the cards are saying listen to your body, I think it has two meanings. One, it means that you're like for example let's just say that you might want to go and be a go-go dancer I'm just making up something but you're having problems with your knee or maybe you want to do something that may not be in alignment with your physical health that requires a certain level of stamina maybe you need to take ex you know um, go to exercise classes maybe you need to get more sleep maybe you need to um, maybe you might have anxiety or you may suffer from depression do you understand what I'm saying because something sometimes we do things like let me just give you an example that just popped in my head about this I was a social worker for almost 15 years and I found myself being extremely um, experiencing a lot of unhappiness because I'm the type of person I want you to be successful I want everything to work out but you know when you're helping other people you don't have control over whether or not their life is going to be perfect so if you are an empath if you are a person who's very sensitive you may need to help people in another way does that make sense so I want you in order to crush it in life I want you to take your own nature into consideration if you're very sensitive if you're talking to a client and you're crying more than the client maybe that's not the perfect job for you does that make sense what I'm saying if you're having physical health problems with your knee and you want to dance for Beyonce maybe that's not the best course for you but it doesn't mean that maybe you can't coach people recruit people or pick out the dance outfits or design the dance outfits so listen to your body to see if what it is you want is in alignment with the health and well-being of your body now it doesn't mean that you can't have the dream but sometimes you know everybody is not meant to play the game some people are meant to coach the game some people are meant to market the game some people are meant to design the rules for the game do, do you understand what I'm saying so keep that in mind whatever your dream is to crush in life you know I have another card from you for you it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is the final card is don't take your physical experience for granted Wow so this is a very strong message in this hand for you darling in the terms of making sure that whatever it is you want to accomplish in life is something that is taking in consideration your health and your safety um, does that make sense so you know sometimes we want to do things that is not you know maybe we can't afford to miss the sleep or maybe we can't afford the, the physical um, a, you know the physical work that's required or maybe we may have certain learning disabilities where we don't do well in certain environments so whatever your dream is in order for you to crush it in life you did have a card that said that you needed to acquire more information so now everything is making sense to me so I really feel like you need to um, there's some research you need to do about what it is you really want the dream that you really want there's some there's some research you need to do you also you really need to look into how it's going to impact your your mental and your physical health and I, you have the card listen listen to your body don't take your physical experience for granted and so love without expectations means that again you can love something but you don't it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to love you back uh, so you might love being a ballerina but it doesn't mean that you may be meant to be a ballerina but you may design outfits for ballerinas shoes for ballerinas you might be the person who works at an agency that you know helps ballerinas or go to, you know, do you understand what I'm saying I think 
one of the biggest mistakes people make is that understand this if you have a dream to accomplish something I want you to understand that that dream is your starting point and and maybe you want to be you know maybe you think oh I want to own a restaurant but maybe you don't want to own a restaurant but you might be the next next Mrs. Cookie or what is it um, person who Mrs. Fields cookies you know what I'm saying you might come that is your starting point so don't give up you are going to crush it in life just get more information and don't forget to take your health and your physical and mental well-being into consideration when you go after your dreams I really hope this video helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video